managed. So, in conclusion, appropriate cases of myelofibrosis is the high risk ones, the indications, intermediate two and the high risk disease, and some of the selected cases, intermediate one, with trans which are transmission dependent or high risk molecular features. You should take up for transplantations at least. We should counsel them. But again, in your practice, it will be case to case basis because you would always look at this elderly people for comorbidity and comorbidity index should be always assessed before you take them out for transplantations. And then uh, check to inhibitor, it's, uh, it's just hovering around it. Your choice, how you use it in practice. Clinical trials are always better. So that, I think it's a disease that transplant will remain in uh, myelofibrosis. You would be doing very few in your lifetime. I haven't done many, maybe three, four in lifetime. And then if you had look at the uh, data from Seattle between 1980 and uh, 20 years data, they did only 11 or some transplants. So that's going to be any individual center. So, so your experience itself in a condition is a bit of a challenge because you don't do this transplant like as you do in your practice, myeloma transplants, autologous, allogenic AML, which you do almost every week. So that you have to put together a lot of, lot of work when you do select a patient's for uh, allogenic transplant with primary myelofibrosis. Thank you. I'll tell it very quickly for you.